hello everyone welcome to my channel if you have not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and today's topic is about creating data sets from each variable in a sas data set for example in a sas data set you have five variables you want to create five data sets from each variable here i want to tell one important thing in the real world we will never do something of this sort this might be a, some interview question or something of that sort but the main idea why i want to discuss this is more about thinking how to solve a problem what should be the strategy to solve a problem once we do solve a problem how efficiently we can solve a problem to tell that kind of strategy i am discussing this topic if you have to solve this kind of problem we need to do two step the first step is we want to know what are the variables are there in the data set and how to use those variables and create data sets now i am using here sas help dot cars as an example here so in the first step what i can simply do is i can run my proc content by which i will know what are the variables i have here you can see that i have these variables and what i can do simply is i can use a data step in which i am using a set statement and i am saying keep equal to one variable in which i am interested and my data set name also belongs to that particular variable now when i quickly run this you can see that i have created a data set with cylinders as one variable and my data set name is also cylinders and this has worked perfectly fine now i can go ahead and run my proc contents and again i can run another step wherein i am doing keep equal to another variable now let us quickly run this and see in here we can see that i have error it says that variable drive train in the drop keep or rename list has never been referenced what is happening in here so what i have done is i have written a data set name as sas help dot class but what i really wanted was sas help dot cars once i fix that issue i can run my code and then i can create my data set again but now you see this is already prone to mistakes even though this simple strategy can create data sets but we have issues especially with writing lots and lots and lots of code and also we are having some errors also because every time i have to look into variable and then i have to run this code now let me run this one and also see what is happening in here again i have an issue again it says that engine sizes are not there in the sas help dot cars this mistake i have done deliberately to show that whenever you type more and more you are more prone to errors now i can fix this and i can run the code and this will work fine and then it will create my data set with one variable having the same data set name so the strategy is simple we can run proc contents and then we can run one variable after another variable like this and then we can generate as many data sets as we want so the problems here are we have to type too much and also these are prone to error with this we want to automate this process wherein we do not want to look into each of the variable and try to write these values in the keep statement and in here over and over and over again again if you look into this particular code which i have written this step looks very 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 same the only difference here is the value in here and in here are only changing remaining everything else is same this kind of things are exactly suited for automation wherein you can pass these values and then 
you can solve this problem very easily. And when you want to pass these values, what you want to do is you want to pass them dynamically. Now, how can we do that? We can do again that in three simple steps. The first step is the same proc content which I have discussed in here. What I want to do is I want to create a data set out of it. Why I want to create a data set out of it? I will explain you in a minute. But first, let's run our proc contents and create a data set out of it, wherein I want to keep only one variable which has our variable names and this variable name is known as name itself. Now let us quickly run this and once I run this I can see that all my variable names are in here. Next step is to create macro variables out of it and I have discussed this in very very detailed in one of my videos how to create macro variables from variables and link for the same I will give in the description below. It is super simple all I need to do is I need to do select name and then I need to write into colon macro variable name followed by one and I can just give a hyphen or a dash and then what it will do is it will create all the values from this into macro variables. So instead of writing var1 to var15 all I need to do is I can just say var1 dash and then I don't have to write the another part. So now I have 15 macro variables. The first macro variable value is cylinder, second one is drivetrain, third one is engine size and so and so forth and I can quickly show you by doing a percent put. Now after I run this code and do my percent put you can see that the value is cylinders and train. I have not done percent put for all the 15 variables but for just two. Now what I can do is I can pass these macro variable values in the next step as shown in here. Here I am doing two different things and I would like to discuss this in little bit detail. First I am creating a macro variable i and I am doing one to ampersand SQL ops. I have never discussed about ampersand SQL ops any time. So what does ampersand SQL ops do is whatever the SQL statement you have run before, how many observations were there in that particular SQL, it will give the value of that number. In this case, there were 15 observations which were the part of the select statement. So this value is 15. It's basically nothing more than the number of observations. So this becomes 1 to 15. And if you see here, I have basically taken this particular code and kept it in here wherein I am saying ampersand ampersand var ampersand i. I have also discussed about ampersand ampersand concept and then I have gone into much much more detail and I would not like to discuss the same in here and link for the same I will give in the description below. But basically what is happening is we are in this percent do loop when the value of i is 1 this is going to become ampersand var 1. Ampersand var 1 is nothing more than the value of cylinders. So here if you look into the code this is exactly same as what I have shown you in here. So this becomes data cylinders and then keep equal to cylinders. Then in this loop, when this i becomes 2, this becomes ampersand var2 and it has a value of drivetrain and it creates this particular code and then it runs and it gives you data set. Now you can see here we have generated this code and this code without typing but by using and creating macro variables 
and looping through each macro variable. In that way, it loops through all the 15 macro variables and it will create the data sets. Now, I cannot run this code outside of the macro. So let me put all of this code into one macro and then compile this macro and execute this macro. Now let me quickly also add options mprint. What option mprint does is it displays SAS statements that are generated by macro execution and then run these options, compile the macro and execute the macro. Once I run this, in the output data set, you can see that all the data sets like cylinders, drivetrain, engine size, horsepower and all of them have been created. And now let us also quickly look into the log. In the log also, if you see very carefully, it gives all the statements which are generated. Now you can see that it has generated data cylinders, sets as help dot cars, keep equal to cylinders. And you can see that all of those statements were generated. This is the actual purpose of a SAS macro programming language to generate you all these SAS statements and then you can use them and you can solve a problem. Here, the important thing to know is whenever you are talking about your data step or proc SQL, they are more useful to build a logic and solve a logic. But macro programming language itself is more useful to generate those statements like data step, proc SQL or whatever it is. Now, once we have done this, we have seen that we have successfully able to solve our problem, but still it is limited. Can you guess what is the limitation in here? In here, what limitation I can see is, in here when I use proc contents, this is hard coded for this particular data set and here I am using those data set values only. So how can I solve this? So it is simple. I need to pass a parameter for my input data set. And in here, if you see here, this value wars underscore cars comes from these cars. So what I can do here is, I can pass a parameter here I am saying DSN and then if say the DSN is SAS help dot cars or SAS help dot cars class what I can do is I can pull this particular thing by using the scan function on that particular macro variable so everything else is same my DSN changes here and what I am doing is I am passing a parameter so this is even more dynamic and can be used on any data set. Now again here the value is partially dependent on the data set in here because we always want to create for this particular scenario data set from a particular library and I want it to be and the output to be a work library. So here, once I pass the parameter and then I can simply use it for any data set. Now let us quickly compile this macro and this macro is T1 and then I can execute this macro for SAS help dot cars and then you can see that it has created all the data set I can use for sas help dot class and here you can see the results that we have all the all the data set related to sas help dot class so here what i wanted to tell you is how we solve this problem we wrote simple hard coded values then we automated by using macro variables and then we have even more made this more useful by passing parameters. So whenever you are trying to solve a problem, go step by step and solve your problem 
and make it as as much as automated because the code doesn't have to depend on your input all the time that's all for this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up share and subscribe thank you